I don't know. He's like, how how can people become like more aware of their mental health or something? And I was like kind of telling him, I uh, I told him forever, like I I come across it as this like mentally just impeccable being, you know, uh, as a fighter, like my mind is indestructible. And that's the way I always thought. And, you know, you do interviews right before a fight. And they're like, how are you feeling? Oh, I feel great. That's the best I ever felt. Best camp ever. But it's just like a mask. Like, cause you don't want to tell it, you know, I actually feel like crap. I'm actually really tired. I'm beat. My training camp was horrible. I blew my shoulder out. I freaking hurt my, my wrist. Um, I got cut. Yeah, training camp sucked. But you don't want to tell that because opponents are watching. But I think there's some sort of strength in that. Like, And that's what I was telling the guy. Um, that just being a little vulnerable and being like uh, honest. Honest with yourself, honest with others, what you're really facing, because we're all human. Like, I'm not indestructible because I'm a UFC fighter. Like, I have the same thoughts as any other human on this planet. But most of us want to put on a mask. Um, like, going into when I went through that little depression streak, my coach, who's like super close with me, when I kind of told him about this, he's like, I had no idea you're depressed because I wear this mask. I'm not going to show a weakness, but over time of like figuring out myself and my relationship with God and my identity. And I'm like, dude, we have, we all have these like negative thoughts in our head and sometimes they get the best of us. You know, sometimes, sometimes it just happens, but it's the ability to recognize it in the moment and not go down that rabbit hole. Because when it becomes a pattern and a path and you go out down this deep path in, of destruction, that's where people get stuck. And it's really hard to get out of the hole when you're stuck down there and you just got a shovel and you're in a hole and you're digging yourself deeper. You're digging yourself deeper. But all you got to do is take the ladder because there's a ladder in the same hole with the shovel. And most of us grab the shovel and we keep digging that hole. Um, but that's what I was telling them. Just being like, you know, have some type of humility because humility is strength. A lot of people you know, might see humility as weakness, but it's actually a strength because mostly everyone's fake. They're just fake about it and they don't want to be real about it because they don't want to really tell people that they're feeling a certain way. But that's why I'm a big you know, proponent. Uh, I don't even know the word. A big blah, blah, blah of mental health. <laughs>